What's up guys, this is Steve. How's everybody doing? Straight off work, but you guys know I had to get this video done. I've been getting a lot of messages about it. So, you just got your new NVIDIA Shield TV Pro or the, the dongle thing, the NVIDIA Shield TV device 2019. And certain apps like Puffin Browser aren't allowing you to install some of the apps that you usually did. I'm going to tell you the reason why that's happening and I'm going to show you guys how to install these apps straight from a USB drive, USB flash drive. So you'll need a USB flash drive for this tutorial. I'm going to make a couple of tutorials. I'll probably load this one today, this video today, and then we'll do a couple more videos. I'm going to show you guys a few different ways. The videos will be real short because it's very simple. Your flash drive just don't go out and buy one. Use an old one, guys. Uh, this is old. You guys see, I can't even see the writing on here. It's like two gigabyte one. Doesn't have to be big. We're just going to use a PC to uh, download some APKs that we need, like two of them. And then we're going to load them on the shield, and then it's on the popping. But before we get started, make sure you guys show me some love and like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Share the video, and if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and join that notification squad. Let's get it popping, y'all. So this is very simple. I'm going to use the PC in this video, but you can use any device. I mean, if you have another device with your APKs on there, you can stick the USB on there and use the file manager to pull them off. But I'll, I'll make another video for that, so I'm going to make this real easy for you guys and do a video for each one. So this is for the PC. Before we get started, I'm going to share some information why this is happening. So let's share my screen. And we're going to go to, you know, we're going to go straight to the horse's mouth. Uh, this is the Puffin Browser developers. And they're pretty much letting us know why they removed the download feature from the newest updates of their app. They pretty much said um, Google starts to prohibit app sideload on Android TV. Therefore, Puffin TV removed the download feature on Puffin TV after receiving this email. So they got a seven day notification that their um, that their app was in violation because it allowed them, you know, allowed uh, people to sideload apps on Android TV. So. This is a confusing situation because full Android devices like your cell phone or something like that, they have the full Google Play Store and you have apps that you don't, um, you can have apps like Chrome. You can use Chrome and get other apps other than Google Play Store apps. But I guess since this is Android TV OS, uh, meaning you, you're gonna use it on some TV, they don't really wants you being able to use any app besides the apps in that Android TV Play Store. Um, confusing because the Play Store doesn't have a lot of good apps that you'll need. I think every device should like should have the speed test app. There's no speed test app on um, there's no speed test app on the um, Android TV Play Store so you'll have to sideload it. Uh, Chrome. Chrome's my favorite browser. I really don't. I like Puffin browser because it's easy for people, but my pref preference is uh, Google Chrome. I, I love using that browser. I have to sideload it to use it on my device. So I'm going to show you guys a quick, easy way how to do this. And um, hopefully they start allowing developers to do it again in the future for us because that's a feature we really need. For Android TV so that has nothing to do with Nvidia it have nothing to do you know that's just a Play Store issue going on with Android TV devices so we're gonna go back to the desktop and I showed you guys my USB I'm gonna go ahead and plug my USB flash drive in my computer so Nate's USB that's my brother-in-law <laughs> Don't ask me how I got this USB flash drive. I have no idea. So, 
I loaded my flash drive into my PC and now I need some apps so I can load it on my uh, Nvidia Shield TV. So we're going to go to my web browser and the first app we're going to get is we're going to get app to it. So I'm going to use this right here. I got to remember that. I'm going to go right to their website. Make sure you guys are seeing this. Yes, you are. So, when we're on their website, we're going to hit install now. And this is letting you know or download the APK on your computer. Now, guys, if you don't have a PC to do this on, don't worry. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get this video out tomorrow. And I'll probably put two more videos to help you the uh, next day. So I'm going to download the APK on this computer. Save. It should be done. Yep, it finished downloading already. So I'm going to open that folder. So here it's right here. Now that I have it, I want to transfer it to whatever you named it. This is named Nate's USB. So I want to transfer it to there. So I'm going to go over there and click it. If you guys have having trouble with doing something like that, sometimes I'll just move it to the desktop. And then I open up it. I open up the USB, but right here I can copy it to the USB. I already have this, so I I'll replace it. Okay. So let's go to my USB and make sure I have it on there. And like I said, if you have any issues. Let's go back to downloads. Move it to your desktop. Then open up your USB. And move it over there. Very simple, very easy. So I have it on my USB. Now I'm going to take it out my computer. And I'm going to turn my NVIDIA Shield TV on. So, we got the NVIDIA Shield TV loaded. I'm going to put my USB inside the NVIDIA Shield TV. And now, it's checking it. And now... I want to get a uh, file manager. My favorite file manager is ES File Explorer, but you guys know it was took out the Play Store as well. Um, so I'm going to go to get more apps. Some other good uh, uh, file brow file managers you can use. I like FX, um, Explorer, Salad File Manager. So for this demonstration, we'll just use FX. I'm going to install it. Open it up. Accept it. Allow. I don't have to do a tutorial. Stop. A okay. So right now you have, this is what you guys will see. We want to see our USB flash drive. So we're going to go to USB storage and press enter. Now I want to file what I have and you can allow, you can load as many APKs if you want to, if you want to put file link 
and put it in USB. You can as well. You can see I got mine loaded with the USB as well. So all I need is app to it. You know they're gonna ask you that. I'm gonna allow it. Now you could pretty much with the Aptoid, Aptoid pretty much gives you a full Google Play Store. So with this we can pretty much load everything we want. So we have it. Now, if you want to, if you want to use Puffin browser, just use an older version. So make sure you uninstall that current one you have. Let me put App to it on my mainstream screen and um gonna look up puffin and it's this puffin TV fast web browser we'll click on that trust it I'm going to go to older versions. I want to make sure we get this, uh, go down a few of them. We're going to get this 772 one. Install. Okay. Oh, uh, hit a little app. Okay, I gotta allow it. That's the reason why it's doing that. So I need to allow this as well. So this should be the older version. Way to check. Try to download something. It does. Just that simple. Easy peasy, guys. But I mean, with AppToy, you don't even need Puffin Brow. I don't even use Puffin Brow so that much. I use it mainly because it's easy for you guys. But like I told you guys, I like Chrome. The thing about Chrome is um, if you use Chrome on an Android TV device, you will need some type of keyboard. So I love using Chrome. And it's more of a, you know, it's a regular, just regular Chrome. So on our next video that I do for you guys, we're going to need an app called Send Anywhere. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, send apps you already have installed on your old devices to your new NVIDIA Shield TV. And um, we'll think of some more stuff to show you guys. Now Chrome is only good if you got a mini keyboard or something. Okay. This the app you guys will need. Probably for the next video or the one after that.
would be sent anywhere. Send anywhere file transfer. So I'm going to load this to get it ready for the next video for you guys. That'll probably be the next day. This is kind of late right now. And um, I can film some more stuff tomorrow and load a couple videos the next following day. But it's real simple. If you guys have any questions, make sure you guys ask me. So send anywhere I have. Um, another good app, Set Orientation. Also, if you don't have a mini keyboard, they got that app um, in the Play Store. This app is built for older version of Android. It may not work properly. Try checking the updates. Hmm. We're going to check this one. If it's not working right, we'll load another one. But... That's it guys, very simple and real real easy. But I'm gonna show you guys some multiple ways. So make sure you guys tune in for the next couple videos because that's all we're gonna be talking about. And then we're gonna move on to some other stuff. Uh, let me know, make sure you guys comment. Let me know if this was easy for you to understand. If you had uh, trouble understanding me, just comment and let me know what you had a problem with. Um, next video, we'll probably do send anywhere from device to device, and then we'll probably do USB device to the new shield. So got a couple more videos. It's going to be fun and we're going to make it real easy, real easy PC. So thank you guys for watching me. Uh, like the video for me, give me a thumbs up, share it and tune in next time. So I can show you how to make the box yours. Thanks for watching guys.